Yo, 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 what is up, sexy felines? My name is MCIK, and welcome back to another Warframe video. Today, we are going to take a look on how to get booty. Yo, yo, what is up, sexy felines? My name is MC, I can hear my cat Welcome back, felines, to another Warframe video. Today, guys, we are finally doing it. I know you guys are actually asking me to start the quest of the new quest in Warframe they added for Atlas. And uh, we are starting that today, baby girl. I love doing quests in Warframes, you guys know that. I won't talk too much, but I just, I just want to say I love doing quests in Warframe. So much fun to kind of uh, sort of do like a let's play with you felines. And uh, it's cool that Warframe has those uh, abilities to do that kind of thing. So, before we talk too much, so let's get into the new quest, the Jordan's Precept. The Jordan's Precept. So, um, yes. My friend said there this, this quest does involve quite a bit of farming. Not looking forward to that, but uh, what are you going to do about it? Orta is determined to help follow Cephalon overcome a ship-wide infesta infestation. Orta is determined to help a fellow Cephalon overcome a ship-wide infestation. All right. Begin. Let's go. Hello? Is this real? Did someone get my message? I hope not. I am Ordis, a fellow Cephalon, and this is my brave and honorable operator. By the 44th precept, we are ready to assist. Yes. No. No. Please. Do, do not. Contacting you was a mistake. This infestation is everywhere. No trouble, Jordis. My operator is no stranger to shredding flesh. Eradicating infestation. <laughs> shredding flesh. The golem is too strong. No chance. Wait. Maybe the Furliac parts. But where would you ever get those? This is hopeless. Just go away. What a dick. Cephalon? Jordis? Operator, he's gone. I see that. My precepts compel me to help the Cephalon. Whatever these Furliac pods are. We need to get some immediately at your earliest convenience. <laughs> All right, so we got our Have first you test. The pods yet? Just wondering. Maybe don't. Just Please don't come. But if you do, I have a reward. Another Warframe was defeated here. Some of its petrified parts may still remain. Destroy the infestation. Collect his parts. And perhaps make him whole again. Jordis, my operator is kind and compassionate, not motivated by selfish rewards. By the 44th precept, we will come for you. I am. I am. I'm kind of motivated like that. Okay, so um, we got our first objective, and that is harvest the Feriliac pods. I didn't listen to how they pronounced it. Sorry, okay. What do you want from me? Like, what do you want from me in life? Like, get off my back, mom. God. Okay. Oh, harvest those pods from juggernauts. Juggernauts are the new things in the infestation um, faction, and they're they're really beefy. They're like these giant tanks. So I'll try my best to take them down. I'm guessing that's how you get these pods. I don't know how plenty pods I need to bring to this guy, Jordis. But, uh, yeah, I know you for sure you find these things on Eris. So let's go to Eris, and I'll be right back. All right. A juggernaut nearby. Okay, so we, basically, if you guys don't know, my friend Raging Rebel explained to me how to get these juggernauts to, or juggernauts to spawn in your game. Uh, basically, you basically you kill a crap load of infested. Uh, that would trigger them to, like, possibly come have a chance to come. And the way you actually get him to spawn is to kill more infested rapidly. And basically, the faster you kill them. That basically de determines if he'll come or not. I think he just spawned. I'm hearing him. Anyway, yeah, if you don't kill enough, if you don't kill enough infested in a matter of time, he will basically pussy out. And okay, here he is. There is a juggernaut. Let's uh, waypoint him. Uh, his vulnerable spot is on the belly, I believe. So let's just see if we can get down there. All right. Yep. Yeah, yeah, whoop. 
All right, Juggernaut's dead. One infected pl platypores. I don't know how it's pronounced. Okay, stop. I, I, I'm not. I'm illiterate. <laughs> All right. Um. Cool. We got that thing. How many do we need? I, I'm guessing quite a few. So this seems like a farming session. So not looking forward to this. No, I am not. I heard it's also random too. He could technically not spawn at all in a game. It's all about luck. So I guess I just got extremely lucky. You know, you know, I, I should have went Saren. Saren's great for this mission. Just one hit everything. That was a dumb mistake on my part. Excalibur, who's just freaking Excalibur? Me. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is why. <laughs> Uh, a lot of you guys uh, told me about my Excalibur build and how it was a piece of shit. I want to say thank you so much for that. You guys are awesome. Uh, I fixed it. I made it a duration and strength build. Um, so thank you guys a lot for that. A couple of you, one of you guys sent me a build of your own. I tried it out. It was fantastic. But uh, I'm going to go with my build. and uh, But I will try yours here and there too. So thank you very much, dude. You know who you are. <laughs> Um, also, one of my per one of my felines also commented about saying that I have a lot of lag in my gameplay. That is very true. I'm very sorry, guys. I'm not the, the I'm the, probably the least professional YouTube, the most professional, most unprofessional YouTuber you'll ever meet. So I do what I can. It's fun. I know it's not the best gameplay because I'm laggy and stuff, but I don't have a really beefy computer. So um, it's just one simple one I made, and uh, yeah, I gotta deal with it. But uh, yeah, anyway. Um, so it looks like in this quest we're gonna fight the three nine one something golem, whatever. I can't remember his name. Okay, what do you want from me? Uh, whenever they come, come on, buddy, 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 buddy. I'll kill that for you. All right, it's dead. Come on, come on. Oh, what are they waiting for? What possibly can they be waiting? For? Are you done? What are you doing, bro? Oh yeah, we don't have all the enemies killed. Oh wow, I'm retarded. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. That it did it. Alrighty, let's get it. Let's get it. Oh god. <laughs> Alrighty, awesome. We got one of those infected uh, paplator paplators. Yes. Yes. Are still helping me rescue Jordis, correct? I must fulfill my 44th precept to help others like me in need. Oh, gotcha. Yep, I'm gonna help you, bro. I, that's what I just did. I got a. I, I got one of those pods. You're welcome, Jordis. Good God, what do you want from me? God. I will never do that face again. I'm so sorry. Alright, I guess we gotta harvest the rest of these pods. This shouldn't take forever. Alrighty guys, and we're back. Um, it took a hell of a long time to farm these parts. What I had to do was you had to kill a Juggernaut uh, at least a good amount of times, like 10 times I had to kill him. And you had to get uh, three different parts, I believe. Maybe two different parts, or no, four different parts, I think. I don't want to say I think, because uh, I usually am wrong. So let's just check it out. There it is. The fur, the furlic, furlac, furliac, the furliac pods, maybe? And uh, so yeah, so we had to get four different parts. Uh, these are the four different parts you had to farm. You had to get one of each part, and then the blueprint, of course. And they all drop from uh, the Juggernaut, which is great, I guess. You don't have to do any missions. You have to farm basically one mission, which is exterminate on Eris. So that is what I did. So anyway, guys, we will bar uh, build it, right? No. Hold tight, Jordis. I look forward to meeting your operator. Hmm, I don't know what I feel about this. Uh, so we're gonna skip this process with uh, ten plat. The pawns are ready. Tell us your location. Really? No. They will need calibration. Calibration. Any severe infestation should be enough. 
What kind of calibration are you talking about? Uh, this? Or, um... Uh, not Ordis. Jordis. So now we actually have a mission to do. Which is... Test the pods on the infested. So I have to bring this thing with me in my loadout. So let's go equip that. But I think I'm going to call it an episode here, guys, for part one of the Jordan's Precept. I don't want to make these episodes too long, but I want to make them still enjoyable for you felines. So, uh, there it is, the pods. So we have 50 pods, so we can try them out on the infested. I don't know what they're going to do to the infested, but it's going to be awesome to see what happens in the next video. So, anyway, guys, stay tuned for the next episode of the Jordan's Preset, episode 2. <laughs> so anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much for what you guys do, and uh, leave a like down below if you guys did enjoy this one, and show your support for the next episode coming out soon. Anyway, thank you for watching. My name is MCIK, or my cat is cute, and I'll see you sexy felines in the next video. Stay sexy, guys, and peace out. Bye. Bye.